I'm Vlad and I like John Petrucci. Well, hello there Vlad here, welcome to my studio. Today we're talking about the guitar player that probably influenced me the most and that is John Petrucci. And by influence I don't necessarily mean that I try to imitate his playing as much as I could, but more like how he influenced me as a musician, how he influenced my view on music and different music styles and stuff like that. And just how to be a really nice and kind of down-to-earth guy despite all of the success that he and his band have had over the years. I think I was introduced to Petrucci at the age of 17 and obviously the Dream Theater as well. I was visiting my friend's place and he had live at Budokan DVD playing on the TV. And I think they open up the set with As I Am. And there's like this crazy, crazy shred solo in the song, like downtuned riffs. I don't remember if he's playing a seven string guitar, just a low downtuned guitar in that one and all of that just blew my mind. At that point I hadn't seen anyone play like that and do all the kind of tempo changes and all of the things that were happening between the guitar and the keyboards and the bass and the drummer and everything. It was just amazing. Like I don't think there's too many of those moments in your life where you kind of think about something in a certain way and then something happens where it completely changes the way you see things. That happened to me and my view on metal music because I didn't know before that, that you could be that technically proficient while still writing songs that are heavy but kind of understandable in a way, meaning that it's not like something something where you don't really understand what's going on, you still kind of could keep track of everything but it was just masterfully crafted in these songs which both showed how good musicians these guys are but they also focused on writing good songs. Uh, that's something that really really impressed me and obviously being a guitar player I fell in love in Petrucci's playing pretty much from the start. I want to say I almost uh, kind of refused to leave my friend's place without that DVD and uh, luckily he was more than happy to loan it to me for a fairly long time actually and I must have watched that show like 20, 30 times easily and like really really kind of pick all the little details here and there what's happening in the show like I loved how John Petrucci could shift from like seven string heavy riffage to super beautiful melodic lead playing and do like flamenco style guitar parts I don't remember what song starts with like acoustic or like PSO guitar noodling and stuff like that and yeah it just blew my mind and I kind of really, really took it in and like dissected each of the songs and still remember the lyrics to a lot of the songs because of that DVD, stuff like that. Just really, really impacted me in a bigger way than any other album or DVD had done before that and after that as well. After that I obviously started to drive into the albums and I was happy to find out that Train of Thought isn't necessarily the best album, at least it's not my personal favorite. Uh, I started to find images and words, scenes from a memory, 
I think score the 20th anniversary live set is one of the best live DVDs and like one of the best live sets ever especially like the Octavarium at the very end of the whole thing it's just ridiculous how good that is but yeah Dream Theater quickly became like one of the top three bands slash artists in my life what I loved about John's playing was that he was able to effortlessly combine like heavy kind of metallica style uh, chugging riffs and jump to like a arpeggiated clean part that was beautiful and then go to a so soaring lead solo like beautiful beautiful melodies uh it kind of all flowed pretty seamlessly and it felt effortless to him like he was really good at all of those different kind of extremes of music styles and that kind of broadened my view of music in general where i started to like pick the things i like about different genres and combine them into what I am as a guitar player and as a musician now. So basically I went from that yeah heavy metal kid to someone who likes all kind of music and is also open to try out new things and that has led to some awesome awesome opportunities over the years. One thing that I also love about Petrucci is like how down to earth he seems to be. He's always really nice to everyone at interviews, clinics, shows, stuff like that. So he's a great, great kind of ambassador to the brands he works with. I can completely understand why Ernie Ball or Mesa Boogie loves working with him because he like really knows his gear and he's really passionate about his tone, about his playing and everything. And he really knows how to break down the sounds and his playing and like what he's doing, what he's thinking. And I've learned from him in that sense as well. And it's been really refreshing to find that kind of idol instead of like this kind of classic 80s guys are, yeah, we're the toughest people in the world. That's never really been my thing. I'm more like Petrucci approach, like this is cool. Whatever that means. But yeah, that's my love letter to John Petrucci, something like that. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the man, on the band, on the beard enthusiast, on the bodybuilder he is nowadays. Something like that. I don't know where I'm going with this. Thanks for watching this video. I shall see you next time.